My wife Kim and I have been married for 26 years, but have no children. How we do not feel childless because of the series of Bassett Town we ha have had over the years, all named after Italian food. Let me introduce them to you in reverse order. Tortelli doesn't feel we own him, but rather he owns us. It's Tortelli's world, and we're all just living in it. Cannoli is the cutest little basset girl rescued from a puppy mill where she was breeding stock. She had a rough life and is extremely shy with strangers but very loving with her family. Zidi was a rescue from a farmer neighbor. They kept her in a locked in a small cage unknown to us, but when they went away without making arrangements for feeding her, another neighbor told my wife and she stole the poor dog. When the neighbor returned, Kim informed him that the dog was now ours and he was delighted to get rid of her. Ravioli was a sweet-natured basset boy who needed a forever home. We gave him that. He had one quirk. He feared toenail cuts. So much that he would go hide under a bench to keep us from cutting his nails. He really knew how to make himself comfortable and loved life. Parmesan was another rescue from a basset hound rescue in town. She was the sweetest old girl who just needed a home. We feel we gave her that and more and she returned the love. Pepperoni was our first dog and our only dog that was not a rescue. We got him from a breeder. We didn't know about rescues yet. Pepperoni was with us from six weeks old to twelve when he succumbed to cancer. He thought he was the alpha dog in the family and loved the attention and pampering that he got and he got a lot of pampering. Linguini just loved and adored Kim. Linguini found her special person in the world and waited every night by the door for her to come home. All of her dogs have been special in their own way and all have been loved. Yes, Kim and I are one of those weird couples who have no children but treat their dogs like children. Thank you.